Welcome everyone to Veritas Christian Academy versus Veritas Collegiate in the championship game of the NCSAA Division 4A tournament. A minute 40 remaining before the start of the game. But we are ready to tip things off. One minute left before the start of the game, and thank you for tuning in. Take this moment to thank our sponsors, Sussex Christian School for elementary and middle school Christian school needs in Sussex. Many of our players today have come from Sussex Christian School. Tire King, also in Sussex, New Jersey, for all your tire and car needs. Holland American Bakery, great supporter of Veritas Christian School. Head on over, get some Irish soda bread ahead of St. Patrick's Day, as well as some other good treats. And then lastly, Kukin Brothers, residential commercial building material needs since 1912. You will see the Kukin Brothers in today's game as well. So here we are after a three day tournament. Started with a loss, the first loss of the season for the boys and put them into the Division 4A bracket. They were able to defeat Newport Christian Academy out of Newport Beach, California yesterday. And here we play Veritas Collegiate out of Virginia for the championship game. This looks to be a tough matchup for Veritas, having seen some of the film of the previous game. Starters for Veritas are the usual, Ethan, Evan, Caleb, Simon, and Wesley. And here we go. Jump is taken by Caleb. Starts us off. Veritas gets set in the offense. Over to Evan. High post to Simon. Kicks out to Wesley. Nice feed inside to Ethan. A little contact there. Nothing. But good to establish Ethan early on in the offensive set. 2-3 zone. Will be the defense of choice to start the game. Good tip by Caleb. Three on the weak side. 11 kicks it over to five. Looking to create. Back up top. And Veritas Kulich is going to call a quick timeout. Evidently was not pleased with the offensive set to start. 727 left in the first quarter. Only 23, 33 seconds have gone by, but there's your first time out of the game. We've been having a fundraiser throughout the month of March to donate for a new sound system. We are so incredibly close to hitting our goal. We are nearly at $3,500. So if you are able to make a donation, veritasnj.org slash giving, PayPal, credit card, all accepted online to help support fine arts, spring musical, sports programs, Veritas Collegiate inbounds from the far side. Quick take to the basket, and uh, Coach is really glad he called that timeout after that. And here comes a quick substitution, as clearly what was drawn up was not executed. They're going to pick up full court. Simon over to Caleb. No, it's a full court press, 2-2-1. Two, two, Back to Simon, nice look, feed down low. Ethan Joe Wesley picking up right where he left off last night with the first two points of the game, 2-0, 7-10 remaining in the first quarter. Gets it to the high post, five with the 10-foot jumper, hits. Expect to see a lot of activity from five. Here comes Caleb, breaks the press, long pass over to Wesley. Wesley over to Evan up top. Tight quarters up there. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and there's a turnover. I got a special delivery of cold brew coffee from Avery Mulder. You should see how high up I am. And uh, having him climb up this ladder to, is an act of servanthood. Two to two after the turnover. 6.44 remaining. 
Outside three, way short. Evan saves it to Simon. Good. Looking up, Caleb Ziala. He's got a wide open layup. Fast break point is good. 6.30 remaining. 4 to 2. Veritas with an early two point lead. Up top, 11 looking to the weak side. He's going to pull the trigger on 10. In and out. Ethan with the solid board tipped out of the hands of Simon. They're going to say that is going up. That'll be. Veritas Academy ball. Simon inbounding from the very far corner. Finds Ethan. Looking to keep the ball in the center of the floor. Trying to force him to the trap. Gets to the sideline and Simon's able to get it quickly across. Over to Wesley in the corner. He gets, there's a secondary trap. Looking inside to Ethan, great look inside, great take by Ethan Mulder. Asserting himself early, 6-2, four-point lead for Veritas Academy. Four's got it on the wing, up top, watch for five to create. Drive nice cut inside, oh, misses the layup, tries to get tipped, and they're going to call that foul on Simon, I believe. First personal, first team foul for either team. 23 is shooting two. Good on the first. Makes it a three point game, six to three. Lefty is off on the second offensive rebound though, and it gets in. Six to five, cuts the lead to one. That's a three-point possession for them off of that offensive board on the free throw. That secondary trap in the corner is coming. Wes is able to get past it, but he loses the ball. Eleven's gonna take it strong, short, another offensive board, one more. Offensive rebounds galore for Veritas Collegiate. Simon's looking to press, splits the D. They're gonna call a foul on that. Fouls on four, his first, team's first. Seven to six, Vertos Collegiate with the one point lead. Caleb feeds Ethan, steady diet of Ethan Mulder, he gets hacked from behind. Excellent job by Ethan in taking it strong to the basket early and often. Good job by Veritas guards to get the ball in a place where he can handle it. Off on the first. Veritas struggled from the line yesterday, save for Simon. Let's see if we can solve that here with the second one. In and out. Still 7 6, 5 0 oh, 5 remaining in the first quarter. 11 drives. Nice dump off, but it couldn't be handled, and it's going to be off Veritas Collegiate. I'm going to start calling them by the Spartans. Because all these Veritases are going to be a little bit confusing for everyone. And then back to Simon. Oh, tough pass to handle, thrown at his feet. Unforced error with under five minutes remaining. Seven to six the score. Spartans with the lead. Barnes is going to bring it up. 11 over to 4. He's going to pull the trigger on a deep three. That is long. Simon with the rebound. Good position and elevation for it. Saves it to Ethan. Out to Caleb. He's going to push the break. Kicks it off. The turnovers on errant passes. It's a killer in the first quarter here. 443 remaining. Still 7 to 6. Tons of opportunity here for Veritas. Turnovers are causing issues on capitalizing on it. Ten's got it on the far side. He's going to pull up for three. That's off. Ethan tips it away. Wesley's able to... Oh, no. It's handled by Ten. Back up top to three. He's going to look to drive. Spins middle. Oh, nice cut. Oh, they're going to call that a goaltending on Ethan. That was a really great backdoor cut. Pocket pass. Nine to six is the score. 423 remaining. 
Evan over to Simon, looking to Caleb. Caleb gets it across, watch for that secondary trap. Simon's able to get across half court. Gonna lob it, dangerous pass inside. Ethan tips it long, trying to save it, no. Somehow, Evan ends up with it. Dribbles, met with three guys. Simon, this is, oh my goodness, they're gonna call that foul. It was like a popcorn machine going for the ball, just popping here and there and everywhere. Four minutes exactly remaining, still nine to six. Spartans with the lead. Lobs and Ethan. Picks up the dribble over to Simon. Simon's gonna cut. He finds an opening, slips through, but it's they're gonna call a foul. We have three reps this game, which is a change for things, so calls are coming from all directions. Gonna be two shots for Simon. 9-6 with 3.51 remaining. Short on the first. Veritas is 0 for the free throw line today to start the game. Good on the second. 9-7. Two-point game with 3.51 left. Spartans swinging out, they're put, putting up a lot of threes, haven't hit many. Over to the corner, 10. Been given space, they're trying to guard the high post there. Evan doing a good job sealing off on that three, he's got it, he's looking to drive. Two steps and it's swatted away. Not today, says Ethan Mulder. 9-7, 3.28 remaining. Spartans will keep the ball. Tens have got a wide open shot if he wants it. He takes it. It's off. Oh, oh, jumping. Finding the space to get that offensive board. There it is. The offensive rebounds have been the difference maker so far. Over to Caleb. Lofting it up. Can't quite find the basket. Ball is loose, but four comes up with it. He's going to push. Long pass. Evans able to come down with it. He is going to be met with a double team. Needs some help. Runs into it, trouble, but finds Ethan. He's going to drive, kicks it left to Simon. Simon's going to pull up for three. Long, good hustle by Evan. They're going to say he was pushed out of bounds. That is a fortunate call. That was a tough position to grab a board. Foul is on number 10. That is the fifth team foul in the first quarter for the Spartans. Veritas only has two. Evan, over to Wesley, back to Caleb in the corner, nothing there. Oh, Evan open on the roll, looking, turns, nice post move, but can't find the basket. Wesley with the board, but can't put it up. Ten's gonna break, he's gonna take it right to the basket, if he can, five, loose with a throw down. Exclamation point, 11-7. Here comes the press. Caleb gets it over half court, he is trapped there. Over to Ethan. Ethan over to Wesley. Wesley's going to take the in-between jumper. That is off. Ball is loose. Rebound by five. He's going to set it up. Three's got a wide open layup and hits it as well. 13-7. A little 4-0 run. Oh, there's a turnover in half court. Off on it. Another offensive rebound. Three so puts it back up. Coach Blair can't be pleased with that. 15-7 is the score with two minutes exactly. Ethan dribbles in. Tries to put it up off balance and finds the bucket. Ethan is willing every shot to go in that he can. 15-9, a minute 50 left. 11, looking to drive. 10, little hop step that is short. 10 is called with another foul. That's got to be at least two on him. That is the 16th foul. Veritas will be in the bonus for the rest of the half. They'll need to capitalize on those free throws if they can. Nick Jaton making his first appearance. For Simon, will take a quick breather. Over to Evan. Evan to Caleb up top. Caleb splits the D and he's got a wide open court. Nice look into Wesley. Can't hit it. Oh, but Ethan with the finish. Strong follow by Ethan Mulder. He is the entire offense so far for Veritas today. 15-11, 122 remaining. 11, drive, three, 
Lob, they have the shooting percentage for this Martins has been abysmal, but yet they keep getting offensive rebounds. The Secretary of Defense blocks that shot right into the Spartan player who is standing out of bounds. Therefore, it is Veritas' ball. 15-11. We're heading towards a minute 10 left. Lobs over to Ethan. Two on one game. He takes it straight at it, but can't quite find the bucket. Five going to push. Four. Back out to five. He wants to drive. Caleb steps in front. Takes the hit. Ethan slaps at it. Goes back to the Spartans. Four. Creates the drive. Eleven. He is going to get fouled on the floor, they're going to say. Fouls on Evan, his first, team's third. 15-11 is the score. 47 seconds left. Two-three zone still, good pressure. That is way off, let that go. They do, and it is Veritas ball, 15-11. Veritas needs to take a breath. Handle the pressure, saved by Evan. Gets it back to Caleb. He's gonna get it across half court. Waiting for that secondary trap, doesn't come. Evan's got it on the left side, 30 seconds left. They are walking the tightrope by the half court line. Trying to avoid that trap. Caleb looking for Ethan, got it slapped away. It'll stay Veritas ball, 21 seconds left. Caleb into Nick. No, oh, Aaron pass. Picked off by five. He's going to take it down the middle. Ethan fouls him. That's going to be his first, I believe. That is his second foul. There are 16 seconds left. Scores 15 11. He's going to shoot two. First one is good, 16-11. Off on that, oh, lucky to track down that rebound. It was almost another offensive rebound. Ethan, outlet to West. West handles the ball, back out to Nick. He's trapped, but gets out of it. Ten seconds, excuse me, five seconds remaining. Four, three, two, one. Caleb with the awkward shot is off. 16-11 is the score at the end of one. Take this moment to hear a word from one of our sponsors from Kukin Brothers. Kukin Brothers Classical Molding Collection. Milled from American grown Appalachian poplar. Categorized by classical American architectural styles. In stock and ready to ship direct to you nationwide. Say goodbye to doll molding and bring back the look of the past. Get your molding catalog and pattern book today. Boys teams down five at the end of one here in the championship game. Girls are playing at the exact same time, about an hour away from where we currently are. And in the consolation game as well, we are wishing them the best and hoping for a good game there. Throughout the afternoon, if you can remember to pray for our teams as they travel home this evening, It'll be about a five and a half hour drive. So we want for, to pray for safety and play as well as travel. Story of the first quarter has been the offensive rebounding of Veritas Collegiate. The second chance points have been flowing. Veritas needs to find a way to box out on the defensive end to maintain control. They are very much in this game, but need to also control the turnovers. 16-11 as we begin the second quarter. Still in the 2-3 zone. Veritas looking to force 
Veritas Collegiate to shoot from the outside. They do. They have not been shooting well, but those offensive rebounds were once again there. Caleb tracks down the pass. Anticipating contact isn't there. Evan puts it back up and in for two points. 16-13. It's a three-point game with 7.30 remaining. Spartans swinging around the outside. 11 over to 10. Watch for those backdoor baseline cuts when they drive. There goes four baseline behind. 10 drives, kicks it out. Five's going to shoot, hits it. 19 13. It's once again a six point lead for the Spartans. Simon trying to avoid that trap, forces it in. Ball's loose. Simon somehow comes up with it. Kicks it over. Beautiful move inside. Oh, it just won't go down. Ethan gets the offensive board. Put it up, big fella. He does. Beautiful touch. Olajuwon esque from Ethan. 19 15. They're going to call it travel. Unforced error from the Spartans. Benefits Veritas. 1915, 640 remaining. For those wondering, the girls are winning 16 to 6 after the first quarter. Good to hear. Simon gets across half court, but he is dead to rights out there. Finds Ethan as an outlet. Oh, dangerous pass cross court, but works out. Evans got it. Here comes the trap. Avoids it. What are they calling? They're going to say he palms the ball, I guess. I don't think it was a backcourt, but in either way, turnover. 6.20 remaining. Four-point lead for the Spartans. Oh, Aaron Pash, but picked up by 11. They are begging them to shoot from the outside. In... For two is 10, 21 15. Lead is back to six. Caleb dead rights up top, finds Simon into Ethan, puts it up and in. More of that, please. 21 17, 551 remaining. 10 takes it strong. Good defense from Evan not to, or Ethan not to foul there, but it goes in anyway. It's back to a 23 17 game. 541 left. Tough pass. The pressure flustering the Veritas guards a bit as those passes are being lobbed over the top. 537, 23-17 is the score. They're gonna call a foul on Nick Chitton who just entered for Caleb. That is the fifth team foul for Veritas. Six team fouls for the Spartans. So both teams fouling early. Outside shot is no good. Oh, no, there it just hits out of bounds. Good. It's almost another offensive rebounding opportunity. Nick finds Simon. Simon comes across. He gets met with three defenders. No, oh, loses the ball. Somehow comes back up with it. It's off, though. On the shot. Four is going to push. Five wants to take it to the hoop and does. That is off. Gets his own rebound. Somehow gets it up and in. 25-17. The lead is now eight. Nick avoids the trap wisely. Evan, there it is. Beautiful passing. Ethan is fouled on the break. Breaking the press without dribbling. Just crisp passes. We need more of that. Ethan will shoot two with 5.02 remaining and an eight-point deficit. Ethan's off on the first. He'll have one more. Veritas will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Hits on the second. 25-18. The lead is seven with five minutes exactly remaining. Two-three zone. Spartans are going to take their time with it. They are quick, they are aggressive in getting to the basket. Force it inside, Ethan able to pick that up. Simon met with pressure, another tough pass. 
Coach Blair is going to call a timeout, wants to talk it over. 437 remaining in the second quarter. 25-18. Spartans with a seven-point lead. I'd like to thank one of our sponsors, Sussex Christian School. Today's game, Jesse Kukin, Caleb Kukin, Wesley, and Simon all. SCS grads, Josiah as well. I'm sure there are others that I'm forgetting, but here's a word from Sussex Christian School. Veritas looking to find some rhythm on the offensive side as right now they're just trying to scramble to not turn the ball over and in doing so are turning it over at a high rate. 25-18, 4.37 left in the second quarter. Veritas will have the ball on the side. Simon lobs it into Ethan. He is met with two defenders. Picks up his dribble, finds Nick, gets it right back to Ethan, but once again, Coach Blair encouraging them not to throw the ball over the top. Bounce pass, instead of giving them running room to go. It'll be a one and one situation, because that's the eighth team foul for the Spartans. Ethan's found the touch. Good on the first, 25-19. Off. Simon trying to track down that board. It's loose. Nope. Spartans pick it up. Three is going to look to drive. Over to four on the outside. Up top to 10. It's going to pull it back out, and they're going to set up their offense. 2-3 zone has been working, but the second chance points have been where they've been the killer. Five showing some range though. 28-19, the largest lead of the game. Nine points. Nick brings it across. Not met with the trap. Wesley gets it easily. Seemingly easy bucket. Not sure what happened there. 28-21 as we're under four minutes left in the second. Three is going to take his try at a three. That ball hit the top. That's going to be out of bounds. 28-21, 3.51 left. Deep breath. We're going to try and break the pressure. Evan, it's man-to-man -man pressure. Waiting for that trap to come. Finds it. Over to Simon. Simon does uh, Loose ball. Nick tracks it down. Pull up for that jumper, Nick. In and out. Wesley over the back there. Yes, that ball has a foul underneath. Wes with a clean block out. Wesley will shoot a one and one. That is the ninth team foul. It'll be double bonus the rest of the way. Good on the first as Wes. He's been shooting well this weekend. 28-22, lead is back to six. Caleb re-enters the game for Nick. Good on both. Give that man the ball. He's got the shooting touch this weekend. 28-23, 3.37 remaining in the second quarter. The lead has been as large as nine. It's been as small as two. Five gets it into 11. Back out of 5-5 five. Five is their shooter and score pulls up with ease. It's off. Ethan with the board. Outlet to Evan. Evan's going to push. Pulls it back out. Oh, scary passes all around, but somehow the ball is received by Caleb. He picked up his dribble, gets it to Ethan. Ethan looking for help, trying to find a lane, goes baseline under the basket, somehow pushes it up and in. The big man asserting his will once again, 28-25, 2.56 remaining. It is a three-point game, 6-0 run by Veritas. 
Wesley was hunting for a steal there, couldn't find it. Up, under, no good. Great rebound by Simon. He's going to push. Caleb going to try and absorb the contact. Off, even with the offensive board, and puts it back in. Beast mode has been engaged by Ethan Mulder. 28-27. It is a one-point game with 2.30 remaining. 11 has it on the left side. He is stuck. Over to 10. He's going to drive. Pulls up for the tween jumper. Nope. Another offensive board by four somehow finds its way in, and it's a three-point game. 2.13 left inbound to Caleb. Caleb splits the D, looking to drive, dumps it off to Ethan. He, he's a scoring machine. You keep that ball, son. Up to Evan, off on the floater. Spartans looking to push the issue Do Caleb, they're going to call a block on that, aren't they? Because he didn't fall down. That's the only reason if Caleb falls there, that is a, that's one of his patented charges. Instead, 10 will shoot two. Spartans shoot well from the line, 31-27. It's a four-point game. They will be in the bonus the rest of the way. This is the sixth team foul for Veritas. Good on the second, 32-27. The lead is five. Simon looking for Ethan right down the middle. Find him. Ooh, almost a turnover. Simon gets it, though. Kicks it back to Ethan. Ethan trying to look for West. West somehow comes up with it. They're going to say... They're going to call it a double dribble. I'm not sure he had possession there, but 32-27, 1.45 left in the second quarter. It is a five-point game. Over to 10 on the left side. Swings it to three, looking for that three, finds it. Lead is back to eight. Caleb down the middle. No trap there. Ooh, uh, almost, but no. Caleb gets a tip from behind over to Evan. He's open for three. Will it go? Just off. No offensive rebound from Simon. Ten's going to push. He's going to take this all the way. Kicks it out to three. Three looking to drive. There's the charge. He was set. Oh, my goodness. His feet were set. He was prepared for that. They called the block anyway. Three will shoot two. <laughs> Off on the first. 105 left in the second quarter. And the lead is back to nine, 36, 27. All that work now undone. Evan swings it to Caleb. Caleb's gonna pull up for three. Bottom of the net, 36, 30. We're under a minute remaining. Big time three, much needed to stem the tide. They're gonna call a, they're gonna call a hand check on Evan. That's at least his second. It is a one and one. Short on the first. Simon with the board. Oh, gets picked. No foul there. Smart lead avoids it somehow. That ball is loose and it's going to stay. It's Spartan ball. The second chance opportunity is a killer this first half. 41 seconds left. Spartans up six. The hell out to four, he's gonna pull the trigger. Hits it, back to a nine point lead. Simon to Evan, back to Simon. Simon's gonna get across half court and they're gonna jump with that. But the skip pass over to Evan, back up to Simon. Caleb on the weak side, he's gonna pull the trigger on a three. Oh no, it's no good. Ten's gonna push, trying to get back. No one wants to foul, three's got it. He's just hit one, he's off on that one. Ethan fortunately shows up just in time to grab that board. 
he is going to get trapped. Kicks it across to Simon. Simon, five seconds remaining. Simon pulls the trigger. Three. Yes, much needed. 39, 33, and that'll do it. That is the half. It was a six-point lead for the Spartans at the end of one. It is a six-point lead at the end of two. Veritas will need to create some more offense and avoid those turnovers in the second half. Now we'll share about a new program from Veritas called Go Leader One. My name is Tom Argersinger and I'm the head administrator at Veritas Christian Academy. Go Leader One is actually an outdoor leadership class, outdoor leadership course meets in the outdoors and essentially is designed to develop small team leadership skills and the inner life of a leader. This inaugural class has really surprised us in that they've adapted so well in moving from the indoor classroom to the outdoor classroom and they're really thriving in it. Some of the skills that students in Go Leader One learn are things like problem solving, decision making, planning and executing missions of varying difficulties, learning how to communicate clearly, learning how to deal with people, and a lot more. My favorite part about Go Leader One is that we get to use the outdoors as a classroom. Um, we get to see every class, how God has wonderfully and masterfully created his world, and that we get to use the order that he put in his world to complete our missions and learn as we go. There are two main outcomes that we would like to see come out of Go Leader One. The first one, very simply, is to develop effective leaders. But the second one is even more important. We want to help our students to find God and to be found by Him. The world needs godly leaders more than anything else right now. For more information, visit veritasnj.org. At halftime, the boys are down six. The girls are winning 38 to 15 at the half. Glad to see that. We'll be back in eight minutes with the second half.
We have about one minute remaining in the half. One half left to play for the Division 4A Championship here at the National Tournament. I'd like to remind everyone to save the date for Friday, May 14th for the Veritas Christian Academy production of The Lion King. You'll get to see the likes of Owen Doherty and Caleb Kukin as Timon and Pumbaa. Uh, Logan Marine, Ben Ryan also involved in the production. Wesley Caparis as Mufasa. So save the date, May 14th, Friday evening. It'll be good to have a production scene live with an audience. Foul situation for Veritas is Ethan has two, Caleb has two, and Nick Chaton has two as well. Team fouls are reset. Veritas will have the ball to start. That's an obvious one because they're both Veritas, but our Veritas will have the ball to start. Starters back on the floor in Simon, Evan, Caleb, Wesley, and Ethan. And here we go. Six-point lead for the Spartans. Evan brings it across over to Simon. There is that trap that has just caused frustration every which way. Nice high post look to Simon. Pulls up for a baseline jumper. It's good. Baseline, J hits nothing but the bottom of the net, 39-35. Still in the 2-3 zone, a turnover. Quick, up to Caleb. He's got an open lamp. High off the glass, but it goes in anyway. 39-37, made me a little nervous there, Caleb, but all good, it went down. 39-37, 7.28 remaining. Ford looking to drive, jumps it off the baseline. Kick out, the kick, the drive. Oh, met by the Secretary of Defense. Once again is Ethan Mulder. Nice outlet to Eth Evan. Evan also high off the glass, but can't come down with the rebound. It's Caleb. It'll be Spartan ball. Anticipating a potential block there. Tried to adjust the shot. Ten with the re with the long shot. It's no good. Simon with the rebound. Oh, a quick foul. Ticky tack foul on ten. That'll be the first of the second half. 6.56 remaining. It is a two-point game after a quick 4-0 run by Veritas to open things. Here comes that trap. Oof. Ethan is a gem to handle that pass into the high post. Shot by Simon is off. Little flat. Five's going to take it all the way. Caleb meets him. He gets bowled over, but is able to cause a turnover. Evan's going to push right down the middle. Puts it up and in off the glass. Beautiful move. Great body control by Evan on that fast break and we are tied at 39. Six and a half minutes remaining. Here comes the Veritas bench. They are on their feet. Eleven's going to pull the trigger on a long, ill-advised three. Off the backboard, no good. Oh, that pressure in the backboard. Just causing fits. Veritas will have the ball. Here it comes. Here comes the inbound. Caleb gets it. He's going to get met across half court. He's bumped. There's an open lane if he wants to take it. Ooh, they're going to call it. They're going to call a block. He was too far under the basket. I thought I saw a little lowering of the shoulder by Caleb, but turnabout's fair play as he was plagued with uh, that call in the first half. 39 all. Tough pass handled by Ethan. The luxury of having a 6 8 man. And they're going to call 23 with the check. Three quick fouls to open the third quarter for the Spartans. 39 all, 6.09 remaining. Simon over to Caleb. Looking inside, Ethan receives the pass. Simon's going to get trapped. The ball's underneath, in between. He's like, some out. Oh, it squirts out. It gets to the Spartans. Three is wide open on the release. He's going to take it up in, and he missed it. Oh, the offensive boards again. It's five was the one to get back and grab it. They're going to call a foul. Black two. It's on Caleb. That's going to be his third. Five will shoot two. It's been good from the line so far. Good on the first. 
one point lead for the Spartans. Nick Jaton is going to sub in for Caleb as he has three personals. Good on the second, 41-39, two point lead for the Spartans. They're going to put pressure. Veritas needs to take a breath. Remember what Coach Blair drew up. Evan's going to pull up from deep. It's off. Oh, good effort on the offensive boards, but can't come up with it. Five's going to push again. He's got numbers. Three with the take, and it's good. Little 4 0 run. 43 39, top pass. Picked off. Tenth going to take it in, and they're going to call that foul every time because he went from behind. 43 39. Basket is good. Fouls on Evan. He's going to shoot one more. 45 39. Leads back up to six. Make that seven. 5.25 remaining in the third. Turn it over to Nick. Pulls it across half court. Evan back up to Simon. These passes are getting a little nutty. Good block by Simon. Effort not to foul. Clean block. Sends it out of bounds. 46-39. Spartans are going to go to call a timeout. Seven point lead after getting it all the way back down to a tie game. It's now back up to seven with 5 10 remaining. We'll take a moment to thank our sponsors, like Holland American Bakery. Get on over there, get some good baked goods. We have Irish soda bread in time for St. Patrick's Day. Thank them for being a supporter of Veritas. Support them for supporting us. Three team fouls for the Spartans, two team fouls for Veritas. Caleb has three personals, though. Nick, Wesley, Simon, Evan, and Ethan are on the floor. This is a very interesting inbound play. I don't know that I've seen this type of stack all the way up top before. He gets a five. He's been their offensive option of choice. Gets his own rebound, but no, Ethan is able to come down with it. Ethan is the one showing sound mind with his passes. Evan gets it over to Nick. A little bit of too much energy from the guard so far. Here comes Evan. They're going to call a hold on three. The refs are calling it close on the guard play. That is the fourth team foul already as we're at 449. It's still a seven-point lead. Inbound to West. Good fake. Steps through. Pulls the trigger. Nothing but the bottom of the net. The hot hand of Wesley Caparis continues. 46-41. Need a defensive stop. Boxing out on the missed shots. Three from the over to ten. He's gonna look to dribble. One step in. Pulls the trigger. It's in and out. Ethan with the board. Ethan once again, looking to try and create up to Evan. Evan gets it across, and here comes the trap. Dribbles around it, lofts it up to the weak side to Nick. In between jumper, it all oh, in and out. That is a good shot, he's gotta keep shooting that. Just didn't fall this time. Three, takes one step in, dribble, that's in and out. Ethan gets smacked on the board somehow, Evan comes up with it. Evan, outlet to Wes. Wes is gonna take it, good fake. There's a, they're gonna say the ball is gonna stay Veritas ball. Thought they might, they've been calling this so close. Thought there might be a foul there, but no. Simon pulls up for three. Off, oh, Evan with the board. Puts it up, can't quite get it. And they're gonna say that's gonna stay Veritas ball. Good positioning by the freshman. Giving the Spartans a taste of their own medicine with the offensive boards. Lobs it into Ethan. Oh, another turnover. Four's got a fast break. Easy two, 48-41, seven point lead with 335 remaining. 
Simon finds Ethan in the middle. Ethan spins. He is getting hacked. He'll shoot two. Need Ethan to get going offensively. He's not shooting. He's going to shoot two. Nope, he is not. There's some discussion amongst the refs. Here it comes. Lobs it into Ethan, able to handle it back out to West. Steps into the shot. It's just short. Simon with the hustle play. That's what we do. Great play by Simon. Now Veritas just needs to execute. Nick from the corner for three. Short. Oh, they're going to call a ticky-tack loose ball foul on Evan. That's going to be at least his third. It is its three on Evan. 48-41, still a seven-point lead. Veritas' game has been going in spurts for this third quarter. Started off strong, struggled, looking to get that back. Takes it inside the lane, another offensive board. I'm going to call that on, on Wesley. The fourth team foul for Veritas. Spartans have five. Caleb's going to enter the game for Simon. He's got three personals. He's going to have to be cautious. They're going to put Caleb on the bottom block, too. Four looking to inbound. Up to the top to ten. From the corner, three looking to drive. Met by Ethan. Nice deflection. Caleb's got the ball. Looking up. Evan is open on the for the long outlet, but no. Trapped up top. Nick has it. Finds Wesley down low. Wesley fakes. Kicks it over to Evan. Evan's going to drive. Takes it inside. Contested. Tips it. Nick follows for the offensive board. He's swarmed, and Caleb has it back out top. Evan's going to try his luck at a three. Just short. Nice tip by Ethan. Take a breath, guys. Set it up. Swings it. That's a kick ball. Don't need to force that inside, but a good idea to try and get the big man the ball inside 48-41. Seven-point lead, two and a half minutes remaining in the third. Veritas needs a bucket in the worst way. Nick looking to inbound. They're double-teaming Ethan down low. Wesley's got the ball in the outlet. Fakes it, gives it back to Nick. Nick looking to drive. He's open in the lane. Nice touch and floater inside, and it goes for the freshman. Little confidence booster there. 48-43, 218 remaining. Five, looking for that back door. Good anticipation by Wesley. Nick is able to track it down and save it. Gets it to Ethan. Ethan's going to play point. Gets it over to Nick across the half-court line. Trying to feed it back to Ethan. They're going to call a trail. Uh, refs are calling it tight. Little substitution from the Spartans. 48 43 is the score. Five point lead. 2 0 1 remaining on this inbound. Spartans have time on their side. We'll see how patient they can be in just dribbling the ball out. 145 left in the third quarter. Nick extends. Ten's going to hold it out top. Ten over to three. Now they get into the offense, looking for that high post. Oh, Wesley smelt the steal, but couldn't quite get there in time. Back out to 11, they're going to let him shoot that three. Off. Wesley saves it. No, they're going to say he stepped out before he was able to grab it. Second chance opportunities once again. Ten. There's the steps there. Nothing called, but it basketball knows. Veritas will have the ball anyway. 121 left. Five point lead for the Spartans. Caleb. Over to Evan. Evan looking. Gets it over. Here comes the trap. Gets over to Nick in the corner. Nick takes one step in, picked up his dribble, skip pass over to the far side, Evan. They're going to break down and create. Tucks it, loses the ball. Ooh, they're going to call a foul. Nice little bailout foul by three on that drive. Six team fouls for the Spartans. 
next one will be a one and one situation the rest of the way for Veritas. It's been a while since we've seen Ethan get the ball inside. Looking to get that. Evan from the corner. Give it to me, three. That's right, 48-46. It is a two-point game with a minute remaining. We need to ride this momentum. Defense box out. Four, we're gonna drive, kicks it back over to five. 11 has it up top, back over to five. Five's been the offensive weapon for the Spartans. Looking to drive, does. Ethan sends it back, not today. Caleb looking to drive, little bump, nothing there. Evan finds an open lane, lofts it up and in. Beautiful move. 48 all, folks, 25 seconds left. Veritas has come all the way back from a nine-point deficit to tie this game. They're gonna dribble it out. We're approaching 12 seconds remaining, down to 10 now. All tied up. Eight, seven, six, five. Oh, a killer of a three. Four, three, two, one. And that'll do it. 51-48 is the score. We have ourselves a ball game. Three-point lead. And once again, it is an exciting game from the Veritas boys team. It's also very exciting is March is open house month. An open house is happening every single week. It is your chance to come experience what Veritas is all about and see for yourself what a difference a Christian education can make. Contact our office at VCA office at veritasnj.org for more information. The score of the girls game is currently 55-22 in the fourth quarter. Veritas girls once again handedly winning this game. Congratulations to them as a 33 point lead in the fourth quarter. We can expect that they'll be able to hold on to that and take home third place in division one. You know, the fact that Veritas a school of 50 students in total is competing at a division one with schools of a thousand students is remarkable and we're not just competing they are excelling as well congratulations to coach gaffney as well as the girls team and especially their seniors like kayla morgan and rose congratulations on a fantastic weekend but there's still business to do here. Down three. Eight minutes left. Veritas needs to dig in and box out and control those turnovers. 11. One step in, pulls the trigger. It's short. Good read by Nick Jaton. Here comes that swarming defense. And they're going to say that ball is tipped and will stay Veritas ball. Another risky uh, possession, but... Works out. Inbound to Ethan over to Caleb. Caleb gets trapped over to Nick. Nick into West. West is trapped down low. West is stuck. Oh, somehow finds an opening. They're gonna call it travel though, aren't they? Oh, we call the timeout. <laughs> it's okay, Coach Blair. Uh, Coach Blair called the timeout because West appeared to be dead to rights, but somehow found an opening and split the screen. 51-48 is the score, 7.32 remaining. Foul situation is 16 fouls for the Spartans, 14 fouls for Veritas. Caleb we know has three fouls, Evan also has three. And I believe Ethan only has two. So we should be in good situation. Veritas will have the ball underneath. <laughs> Caleb looking inbound, lobs it into Ethan. One nice, beautiful move. Ethan keeping that ball high to avoid any opportunity for a steal. 51-50, one point game. Veritas looking for a stop here. Evan wanted that steal. Couldn't get it. Three looking to drive. Back door to 10. He is 
met. Here comes number five. Oh, Secretary of Defense once again shows up with the block. Ooh, ill-advised pass, but he gets through anyway. Caleb falls down. Nick has it. Attack the basket. Ethan to Wesley. Yes, and a follow-up jam. That is good. What? They are conversing about it. I think he wants to call a goaltending on this at the... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No basket, they're saying that the ball wasn't all the way through when he hung on the rim. It is a technicality of sorts. 51-50, under seven left. That was a momentum swinging moment right there. Let's see if Veritas defense can dig in and overcome. Nice, a turn up, no way. <laughs> oh. The whistle was blown about five seconds after the foul had happened, but a foul on the left. That's on Nick, that's gonna be his third. Five team fouls for Veritas. From the corner, three off wesley fighting for position that's a travel if he doesn't have it it's a travel but it's gonna be a jump ball nonetheless apologies folks for shouting at the refs while on the live stream 51 50. veritas is going to have the ball on the possession 6 38 remaining we're gonna have to clean this up Ref encouraging the players to not just stand there, but do something about it, and they will. A little helping hand never hurts, and we appreciate those who've helped us this year by sponsoring Tire King, Sussex Christian School, Cukin Brothers, and of course, Holland American Bakery. 638, one point lead for the Spartans. Caleb looking to inbound. Long, dangerous pass, and it turns out to be a turnover. Five dishes it underneath, and they're going to call a foul on Caleb. That's going to be his fourth. Oh, the backcourt pressure just causing fits. Shoot two. Short on the post. That's six team fouls apiece. Both teams will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Good on the second. The lead is two. Simon, oh my. Tough pass, but it gets through, and Evan's going to take the break. Wesley finds a position underneath. Somehow wills it in. Wesley Caparis, 52 all. It is a tie game with 6.20 remaining. West with a deflection, but it's going to stay the Spartans' ball. He has the hot hand. I don't know what we've been feeding him, but he's been playing his best basketball of the season at just the right time. 6.13 remaining. We are tied at 52. This is a six-minute game. Long three. Nothing but nylon. Goes down. Three-point lead. Nick's going to get it across half court. Avoids the trap, lobs it across Tevin. Bounce past the time, looking to drive. Create, finds a space, puts it up and in. It is a back to a one point game. 55 54, 545 left. Well, the Spartans hit a three last time. They have not been shooting well from the outside. 11 is going to try his luck once again and finds it. Back to a four point game. 58 54. Simon. Avoids the trap. Nick gets it across. They're going to call. I believe. Flat. The foul is on Ethan. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. What? I didn't see it. The foul is on Ethan. It is now 17 fouls for Veritas. Four point lead for the Spartans. Veritas looking for a stop. 
back-to-back -back threes by the Spartans has uh, put a damper in what was once a tie game. We are approaching five minutes left. We're now under five minutes, 58, 54. Evans gonna step out and extend now. Looking to start the offense. 10 has it up top, he's gonna wait one more time. There is a four. Thirty seconds have gone by, nothing doing. Coach Blair encouraging them to hold their ground. Right now, both benches clapping. We're gonna get down to four minutes before anything happens here. 412. This is not the basketball that you were expecting to see, but we're at four minutes now. This is a one minute possession. For Veritas Collegiate. They wanna shorten this game. They're being allowed to do it. Three forty remaining. Itchy trigger fingers from Veritas Collegiate. Three thirty remaining in the game. It is a four point lead. Still nothing doing. Coach Blair and Coach Milanese talking on the sidelines, waiting. We are approaching 3-10 remaining, and they're going into the offense now. It's like our very own commercial break. 3.05 left, 58-54. Here comes the ball rotation. Three minutes now left in the game. Four-point lead, 10's got it up top. Two forty-five left in the game. 58-54, this game just got shortened significantly. Eleven's gonna pull the trigger, he's hit two. He's off of this one, they gotta get the rebound there. They can't quite get it, jump, ripped by Wesley Caparis. Gets it across, holding his own, gets it out to Nick. A muscle play by Wesley, ooh. Dangerous passes out top. Evan finds Ethan in the middle. Ethan goes baseline, puts it up and is fouled. 58-54, 2.20 left. Ethan's gonna shoot two. Wesley didn't come up with that ball. That would have been a deflating possession. Good on the first. 58-55, looking to push this to a two-point game. He does. This is it, 2.20 remaining, 58, 56. Any foul will be a one and one for either squad. Here we go, 11 takes it. Oh, they're gonna call an offensive foul. Oh, Simon draws the offensive foul. The shoulder was lowered. Good position by Simon. Took a page out of Caleb Kukin's playbook. 58, 56, 209 remaining. Need smart passing. Gets it across. Simon looking to go inside. Finds an opening. Pulls up in the middle lane and it's good. We have a tie game, folks. Two minutes exactly remaining. Here we go. 58 all. 153. Need to box out. Keep Veritas Collegiate off the offensive board. Up top, five is probably the guy that they want to get the ball. Four is gonna pull up from deep, that's way off. Wesley Cabarrus with the rebound. Don't force the pass, gonna dribble. they're gonna call a double dribble. Turnover down low, 58 all, 125 remaining. Good defensive pressure. 
What are they going to call? I guess it's going to be a block. That is on Wesley. It'll be a one and one situation with a minute 23 left. Ball will be live. Good on the first. Cody J has been shooting well from the charity stripe. 59 58. One point lead. Box out here is essential. Two point game. 123 left. Bertas needs to take care of the ball. Simon gets it across, lobs it into Ethan. They have a break, that ball is loose. On the floor is Simon, gets it over to Evan. Evan's gonna run, push, gets it over to Caleb. Caleb sees an opening, but pulls it back out. Tough pass up top to Simon. Simon splits the D, up, in, and good. 60 all, we're under a minute left. This is a one minute game. Here we go, 60 all. Need a defensive stop in the worst way. Veritas digging in on the 2-3 zone. 45 seconds left. Will Veritas Collegiate run this all the way down? It appears so. Likely will start making a move with maybe 12 seconds left. We're down to 30 seconds. It is all tied at 60. Watch the back door cut on a drive. They're gonna try and bring Ethan out to guard whoever drives. We're down to 15 seconds left. 15 seconds, 60 all. Watch five, five wants this ball, gets it, pulls the trigger, he's off. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. Caleb for the game, oh! We're going overtime, folks. Oh, 60 to all. That fourth quarter, I would say about three minutes of it was spent just holding the ball. And here we go. We're going to go one more. Eight more minutes to play. I need a break. Regardless of the outcome, Veritas played a tremendous game defensively here in the second half. Offense needs to continue to find those openings, getting Ethan involved. They will likely attempt to do that. Overtime is only going to be four minutes. Thought it would be five minutes, but it's going to be a four-minute overtime. Both teams will have will continue with eight, pers eight team fouls. So both teams will still be in a one and one. We will have a jump ball. Four minutes for the Division 4A Championship. Ethan tips it ahead. Veritas Collegiate has the ball. Spartans are going to try and push. Good tip by Evan. Gets it out of bounds. Nice deflection. The 2-3 zone has been working. Save for 11's hit two threes in the fourth. The outside shots have not been falling, although five is able to hit from pretty much anywhere. Look at the 3-8. Pulls up from the... Elbow is off. Ethan gets the board. Gets it over to Evan. We'll see if they continue with the trapping once they cross half court. It appears they're going to back off. Simon over to Caleb. And Ethan kicks it out to Evan. Open. Deep three. That is off. Oh, my goodness. Great rebound by Simon. It's a jump ball. No, they're going to call a foul. They're going to call it. Foul is on Simon. And they're going to say it's a, they're going to have a one and one here on the other end. 
five has been money from the line. Great offensive rebound from Sun. Just couldn't get the ball to go right back in. And I thought it was a jump ball tie, but foul nonetheless. Good on the first. Spartans have been nearly perfect from the line. Good on the second as well. 62-60 with 3.20 left. Here comes the pressure now. Over to Caleb. Oh, lobs it. Ethan tracks it down. Great job by Ethan to get that, but it's picked. 10-11 going to take it strong. Caleb trying to avoid that fifth foul. It's swatted. Oh, they're going to call it goaltending. 64-60. A quick 4-0 run from the Spartans. Veritas needs a bucket. Evan splits the D, finds an opening, kicks it out to Caleb for three. Yes, there it is. 64-63. It's a one-point game. Two forty-five remaining. One point game. Eleven over to four. Looking. Five is floating around that high post. Just waiting for that elbow jumper. Eleven takes it instead. It's short. Falls loose. Wesley comes up with it. Smart pass over to Evan. Gets it across half court. Wait for that trap. Here it comes. Gets over to Simon. Simon's going to look to attack. Finds an opening right down Broadway. Up and in. Hold on, folks. It's a one-point lead for Veritas. Their first lead in who knows how long. 65, 64. Can the defense hold? 11. Over to 5. 5 wants this ball, but it surprisingly gives it up. 10. Dribbling up top. Swings it over to 11. Once again, taking their time as we're under two minutes left. 10 weeks out of 4. 4 looking to drive. Kicks over to 11. He likes to pull the trigger from three. There it is. Up top again to three. Back over to ten. Ten is going to drive. Watch for that backdoor pass. Floats it up. Five muscles for the rebound. Ethan saved it, but Wesley comes up with it. He is tackled, and there's nothing called. There's going to be a jump ball. The possession arrow goes to Veritas. Hustle play all around. 65-64, one-point lead with 134 left. Veritas needs to take care of the ball. Understatement of the day. Once again, making sure that there's no wet spots on the floor. Simon gets it in Evan, he gets it across. He's quickly met with a trap, and he's... They're going to call a foul or out of bounds? I'm going to say it's out of bounds. 131 left. Still a one-point lead. They get it into Ethan. The safest option. Simon looking to drive. Kicks over to Caleb. Evan in the corner. Dribbles it back out. Caleb has already hit a three. Oh, Evan missed the ball. It's going to be an open layup. Ten. Oh, they're going to call that foul because he tripped. He literally tripped. That's going to be five on Caleb. Nick's going to enter for Caleb. He's going to shoot two, I believe. No, it's going to be one on one. It's live. No, that is two. 118. 118 left. Veritas up one. This is to tie the game. It is a tie game, folks. 118 left. Evan to Simon. Simon over to Nick. Nix brings it up. He's dribbled off his foot and is loose. It is still a tie game. 112. Back to back turnovers for Veritas. 110 left. Dig in, Coach Blair says. 
need a defensive stop. We are approaching one minute left. Collegiate is not afraid to run this all the way down once again. Ethan is fronting five, doesn't want him touching the ball. Evidently, we're going to be willing to take this all the way down to 45 seconds. Here comes the pass over just because they were getting a little bored with dribbling up top. 35 seconds left. Here it comes. Swinging it around. Nope. Little four corners offense. Spreads over to 10. They're extending. Nick putting pressure up top. Oh, skip pass over to 10. 20 seconds left. We are counting it down. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh, my goodness. Seven seconds left. Fouls on Simon. Five just muscled his way through. The rest gave him the ball. Good on the first. Got one more. 66 65 is the score. One point game. Seven seconds left. Coach Blair likely drawing up full court play. Five has been automatic from the line for the most part. Score of the girls' game is 57 26. There's about five minutes left in the fourth quarter. So Veritas still holding on to a commanding lead and will likely emerge victorious in that one. Well, Coach Blair pulling out what he's got left in the playbook to see if he can close this one out. One shot to go. Seven seconds left. 66, 65. He's good on the second. Veritas Collegiate's going to call a timeout, set up their, what is likely going to be full court pressure. It's been working all of the game. Might as well continue with it. Seven seconds left. It takes about three seconds to get the ball up the floor. Veritas has plenty of time to try and attack the hoop. They do have the luxury of a six foot eight big man in going for the offensive rebound should the shot miss. But the key is getting the shot off, getting it across half court and getting that shot up. Here we go, folks. This is the ball game. Opportunity to tie or take the lead. 67, 65, seven seconds left. Nick is gonna inbound. We've got Evan all the way in the backcourt. Ethan in the center, into Simon. Simon's gonna dribble, he's gonna take it. He's gonna take it all the way to the basket. Gets it up, tosses it up. Here's Ethan King. Oh. Heartbreaking, well-fought game from these boys. 67-65 is your final in overtime. A well-executed play. It just didn't go in. Thanks, everyone.
We'll see you next week. Please pray for safety as we travel home today. We'll see you next week.